Hello YouTube, it's Hey It's Lou back again, uh, but this time with an application review. Today we're going to be looking at the Linux Music Player Banshee. Now I'm not going to be doing a full review over the the application itself, um, but I'm just going to be basically show you how um, Banshee works with your Android smartphone. Now, I have an HTC Incredible, and I use the Incredible basically uh, to play music and at the gym. I use it to stream music over my car stereo while I'm commuting back and forth to work. And so, you know, I needed a good application that not only worked well on the desktop, but also worked well with my Android smartphone. Now, I really was impressed with the support that Banshee had um, with uh, Android right out of the box. It had a lot of really great features, some very iTunes-ish, um, but they were it works really well nonetheless. So we're gonna just go ahead and get into it now. I have all my music stored on a uh, half a terabyte portable uh, Seagate Go drive, which I pretty much carry around with me um, in my laptop wherever I go. But I don't keep any of my music on my my computer's hard drive, so it's it's stored all right here. Um, so basically, um, I've got 62 gigs, and I've only got eight gigabytes of internal memory on my my HTC phone, and I've got 16 gigabyte micro SD card. So I can't possibly sync my entire music library. So the easiest way that I've found to get music back and forth between my phone and my music library is by creating a specific playlist for my phone. So the way in which you do that is over here in the left hand pane, you're going to select the select your music, right click, hit new playlist, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it incredible. Um, and we're going to create a little playlist here. So. As many of you know who follow my work on XDA, I really like the band Rush. Um, my latest kernel project I named after one of my favorite Rush songs, which actually, you know what, why don't we make that the first song on the playlist? We're going to go to the Hemisphere albums, a very awkward picture of a naked man, which uh, <laughs> it's kind of weird. But anyway, um, the Villa Strangiato, you just highlight the track, right click on it, go to add to playlist and we're going to select incredible. Now, let's add just a few more tracks on there. Permanent Waves, amazing album. If you've never listened to Rush, do yourself a favor. Best thing that's ever come out of Canada. Um, Rush is amazing, so listen to Rush. Signals, awesome album. All right, so we've added some music to the playlist. If we come back over here in the left-hand pane, you see the incredible playlist. If you highlight that the playlist, it's going to tell you the albums that we took the tracks from and give you a list of the tracks. Let you know there's seven songs, just over 40 minutes, and gives you the total size, which is 74.4 megabytes. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to get this playlist onto your phone. So you're going to want to connect your Android phone to your computer via the data cable. Once that your once you connect your phone, you're going to change it to disk drive mode and mount your phone as a disk drive. I've gone ahead and done that, and you're going to see here my internal storage as well as my SD card mount. Now, down here in the left bottom left hand pane, you're going to see that both the internal storage and my SD card are uh, present. So if you highlight the, say, SD card, for example, or the internal storage, you're going to have this nice little overview. Again, this is very iTunes-ish, especially this section right down here at the bottom. It gives you the breakdown of uh, how much audio is on your um, on that particular um, storage uh, medium and uh, how much video, other free space, etc. And then it lets you decide on how you want to sync everything. So your music, everything's set to manage manually out of the box. So uh, my music, for instance, what we want to do is I actually want it to sync from the incredible playlist. So I'm going to select that. Now, it says here, sync when first plugged in and when the library is changed. So if I add any music to this playlist, if I take any music off of the playlist, anytime I um, plug my phone into my computer and Banji is open, it's automatically going to sync those changes. That's exactly what I want. Um, now, obviously, for instance, I could make separate playlists that I could sync. I could have a gym playlist. I could have a, a 
say work playlist from when I'm commuting back and forth to work. Um, you do ha do it however you'd like, but um, you know you can manage it any way you want to. So I'm gonna actually select this option here, and what's gonna happen is right down here in this this nice little um, pane that popped up, you're gonna see that it's now syncing uh, everything from the incredible playlist to my Android phone. Almost done. There we go. All right, very good. So now everything uh, from the incredible playlist is should now be synced to my Android phone. So what I want to do is we're going to minimize Banshee real quick, and I'm going to eject both the SD card and the internal storage from my computer. Then go back to my phone switch it from disk drive to charge only and to check the music out on the phone what we're going to do is we're going to use the Android SDK and we're going to use the DDMS application alright here we go so here's my phone what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the music application and let you guys take a look. And here we go. Uh, here's the music that uh, we just synced with Banshee. Again, <laughs> awkward picture of the naked man. Uh, just kind of standing on top of the brain. And um, go over to the next album there's that and there's the subdivisions album now I'm going to bring up a list of all the artists which we have Rush now bring up the albums there's the three albums and if we select any one of the albums for instance permanent waves it's going to give us a list of the songs that it, it uh, has now um, that has been synced to the phone and that's it so if you're looking for a nice little application that's um, really great on the desktop as well as uh, really nice with an Android phone um, Banshee is definitely the way to go um, there's some really great desktop features you get this nice control here um, from your volume from your volume uh, um, notification icon here up at the top so you can control Banshee and what tracks are playing so that's really nice and really convenient um, it's got all sorts of support um, Amazon MP3 store I buy all my music um, from Amazon so this lets you um, you know this in, this basically hooks you up with the Amazon MP3 store so you can purchase any of your music any online radio stations any podcasts uh, it even has this internet archive feature so if you get any online books lectures, movies, so on and so forth. It uh, lets you connect to all those as well. Um, there's a lot of nice plugins for, for Banshee. And there's a real lot of nice features. Now now that it's become the primary uh, music player for Natty Narwhal or Ubuntu 11.04, I see a lot more development going into Banshee as a music player. And so if you're familiar with, say, iTunes on Windows or on Mac, um, you should see a lot of the same features um, on Banshee. There's even a cover flow option, so you've got that that nice scrolling album art um, to basically go through your music library, uh, just like in iTunes. There's a plugin for that. So Banshee's just a really nice, versatile music player that gets the job done and works really well with an Android smartphone. So that's it for my application review on Banshee, the Linux music player, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.